<clears throat> it's Jan from Jan Does Reviews. And um, I thought I would go over my July 2021 purchases. So, to start it out, um, I only bought 20 things um, cosmetic related this month, which is kind of surprising for me. But it was also um, my month for my Amazon annual membership for Prime. Uh, it came due. That was $120 just for those of you who wonder um you can do it month by month or quarterly i'm not sure that's quarterly it might be every six months uh there's three options though uh but i do annual where it just does it all at once and you pay just a tiny bit less doing it that way um i also bought fleet protection for all my animals which is brevecto um hashtag not sponsored <laughs> wish I was. Uh, it's quite expensive, but um, what we've been doing in the past were flea drops, which you put on monthly, and um, they weren't as effective as they had been in the past. Uh, we have four cats. My daughter has two, and I have two, and um, we'd been using Frontline and then Frontline Plus for many years, and it just wasn't as effective. I don't know if the cats just got used to it or if the formulations changed. I'm not sure what happened. But we decided to go with the Brevecto, which for cats is also um, the drops that you put down between their shoulder blades and keep them dry for 24 hours, and then they're covered for three months. This is a $55 a dose per cat. And then it comes in, you can do uh, drops for dogs or chews. So I chose to do the chews. Um, that's what we did last year. We had two dogs at the end, um, my boxer, Magnum. We um, had him put down in January. He just, he wasn't doing well. He had a watermelon size. Well, okay, that's, that's probably an exaggeration but it was every bit the size of a very large cantaloupe on the side of his chest tumor. Um, we're pretty sure it was probably cancerous. Um, he was definitely suffering from some doggy dementia and sundowners. He would get very aggressive and confused and um, he just wasn't doing well. He was 14, so he had had a really long life for the large boxer that he was. Most boxers pass at, you know, anywhere from six to eight years is average for them. Um, for some reason, the breed is extremely susceptible to cancers of various sorts. So um, I feel very fortunate that we had that long with them. But needless to say, we got a chew for my daughter's beagle, Athena, and uh, that was $65. Yay! Uh, Brevecto also offers a rebate if you're not aware of it. Um, you can go to Brevecto. I forget the exact website, but if you look it up online, just put in Brevecto um, rebate. And it's got some weird conditions this year. Last year, you got $15 per dose. This year, you have to buy at least two of one sort or four of another and since I had five you know I qualified but it was still only $25 for the five doses not nearly as good um, but that being said July was a little bit of an expensive month so you know um, $450 between flea medicine and um, Amazon Prime <laughs> so Let's get on with it. Um, in case you're wondering today, I am using the Poolside Palette by IBY Beauty that I got in the box, which I believe that video should be up by now. Um, I decided to go with the pinks, very pink. No purple, just browns and pinks. I really like this palette. I don't know that it's going to be um, a continued favorite, but right now it is, so I'll let you know at the end of August. So, purchases. Let's get on with the show, shall we? Um, first of all, I oops, am dropping everything. That's nothing new. Um, I went back to Dollar General, 
and fawn was just a little too dark and way too yellow for me but i really liked the formula of the concealers so i went back and bought two more um i think these are five dollars a piece they might be six they're, they're not terribly expensive um but i've had the same issue with all three with the doe foot's starting to come off. You see that you've just got a little rim of it there left at the very top on all three of them. Um, but anyway, I think that the uh, the stopper, the little rubber thing that pulls off the excess, I think it's a little too snug and that it's ripping the doe foot off. That's, that's my theory at any rate. Um, but I bought two more shades. Um, this one is obviously more pinker. And this one is ivory and then i got biscuit which is just about perfect it's very neutral very pale um it suits my skin tone rather well really really love these um i'm not positive that they're a favorite because i am going back and forth between a lot of different products um another thing that i purchased was this bobby brown corrector in light bisque do I have that yeah focus there you go uh, and for some reason the Dollar General concealer does not play well with this I don't know why uh, sorry allergies are kicking my ass I'm on a new allergy med and it's it's not working yeah um, anyway I got this, but it doesn't play well with that concealer. But this is a really great corrector. Um, as you can see with my under eyes, I just have um, a slight darkness where usually it's gray or purpley. It's just a little bit of a light brown, which is the best my under eyes have ever looked. But these two together make it really dry, super crepey, just not attractive at all. So, not sure what's going on with that, but needless to say, since I really love the corrector, I haven't been using the Believe Beauty um, liquid concealers. So, okay. I also, um, at the beginning of the month, I think it was Jen Phelps, she did a video where she found out that L'Oreal was discontinuing um their magic perfecting base which i absolutely love so um i went and bought a backup just so i would have it uh, i still have plenty in my original but as long as i leave it sealed and i am it should be good until i use up all of that primer it is one of my absolute favorite primers it's very silky it blurs it smooths you don't even have to wear something on top um, you can just leave it as is and you just have this beautiful perfected look to your skin so love 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 it uh, let's see what else do I have on here oh yeah <laughs> I think it was Emily Noel here on YouTube I think um, who was talking about old-fashioned max factor um, their pan stick, um, but also their pancake makeup. I do remember those when I was a teenager being out, and these are very hard to find, but you can get it on Amazon. Um, Max Factor is apparently sold overseas still, but you can't hardly find it in stores in America. But Amazon had one, and I got mine in the shade um, 25 Fair. And... It's supposed to be, you know, super high coverage, um, very forgiving, very creamy, you know, not drying to the skin at all. Um, but it did great for my under eye darkness. But right here, you know, where I, I cover the, I use concealer basically because the only thing I need to correct are my dark under eyes and the redness I have in my cheeks kind of like right through here I just use a little bit of concealer and um, powder to cover that because it's not extreme okay my under eyes are a little extreme but 
the redness is them. And it emphasizes the texture that's right here on my cheeks, which is strange. Normally that's not much of an issue except with highlighters. The concealers don't usually do that, but this pan stick foundation did. So I'm still playing with it. I haven't really got final thoughts on it, um, but you know, it is something that I did buy. Then I placed an order with Mercari because as you all know, where is it? There it is. Um, this is my Wander Beauty Glow Ahead Illuminating um, Face Oil. I love this stuff. It's Glow Ahead, I think is the technical name. And as you can see, I'm getting down to it. There's just a little bit left. I love these. They are beautiful. Definitely one of my all-time favorite face oils. They absorb quickly. There's no oily or greasy residue. It's just nice and silky, but it leaves your skin feeling hydrated all day long. Um, the only thing that could make it better is if it had a little SPF just to, you know, help. But I'm good with that not being in this product. But I had one that I had bought and um, I gave it to my mom because she wanted to try it. So I went to Macari and I found two more. <laughs> and I ordered them both. <laughs> um, I think I paid $10 for one and $11 for the other. They're both still sealed. I wrote, um, yeah, I wrote the purchase date even though they have not been opened just so I would be aware of uh, when I did get these. So, um, have these ready to go with my backups. Um, I know the packaging has changed on these. Wander Beauty recently updated that. So, um, these are still in the old packaging. I'm fine with that. That doesn't make a big difference to me. I'm not one of those people that, you know, typically cares about that kind of stuff. I know Dose of Colors has updated their, um, their packaging as well, and I'm not gonna replace the Dose of Colors liquid lips that I have just to have new packaging. Um, I'm not, but you know, if it's not broke, don't fix it. I don't have to have the newest, latest, greatest anything. I drive an 11 year old car just because it still runs. It works great. There's nothing wrong with my car. <laughs> so yeah, I'll drive it until it just, it's too expensive to fix whatever happens to break down, which nothing has so far. After uh, 10 years, we had to put a set of tires on it. That's it, Nissan Altima. Nissan's awesome. Okay, anyway, on with the show. Um, I also, I had gotten the um, Ofra Madison Miller Midi Palette with Ipsy um, one month, but I gave it away, and I don't know why, but all of a sudden, I was really wanting it again. So I found one on Macari. It was used, um, I sanitized it when I got it, which I'll get to what I've been using for that too. Um, I did this by accident. Um, it came with that little piece, not a big deal. But I really love this bronzer and I'm not positive of the name. It doesn't have a sticker. I could probably look it all up. You can too if you're curious. But um, along with this, they were selling it with the um, Nikki Tutorials palette, midi palette, which I'll show you. It does have the names. And these are all highlighters. And um, I thought, okay, that works. And buying the two of them, gently used, was cheaper than buying one brand new. Um, I do believe both of these are still available on Ofra's website. I know there's been some controversy about Ofra, but I, I don't know. It's, the OK symbol is just the OK symbol around here. There's nothing related to white supremacy with it. And um, I live in Western Kentucky, uh, home of good old boys who think the white is best. So um, I would think if that was a real thing, super popular nationwide, then it would be done here. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know, but yeah. Um, 
not saying that it's not true. I just, I don't know. I, that was the first I had heard of the okay symbol being a white supremacy thing. So, um, anyway, I had already ordered these by the time all that broke loose. So, I don't know. I like Ofra's products. Hopefully, all of that will clear up and not happen again going forward. Anyway, um, I think that's all that I bought off of Mercari. Uh, then I placed an order with Elf Cosmetics, also around the first of the month. And I got several things. Let me let me gather them up here. No, that's not it. Um, is that it? I think that's it. Okay. I got, um, I think I've mentioned this in a video before. Yeah, I did an e.l.f. video, right? With, you know, favorite things, favorite brands. This is their Cover Everything Concealer. Mine is in the shade um, Light. And this is a beautiful creamy concealer. Um, it is not liquid, so it will do well. You can, um, you know, run your finger through it and tap it over blemishes my dark circles it's I don't know that greasy skin well that's that's a really ugly way to say it people with oily skin might not like it as much um, it's very creamy but I have dry skin so it feels comfortable it doesn't feel drying um, it doesn't cake up but I have a feeling if you had oily skin it might not sure let me know down below if you've tried this and it has. Um, also, I got um, the Tone Adjusting Primer, face primer. And this is a light green color. Um, it's supposed to help cancel out redness. Green and yellow generally will do that, as you can see there. And then as you rub it in, the green color helps neutralize redness, I guess is what I should say. And as you can see, you can barely see it. And my skin, my hands just don't have any redness. I'm sorry. So this didn't work, but the, the primer itself leaves your skin feeling silky. And um, I don't know what the word is. I'm Words are just not working for me today. What a great day to film, right? Forgive me. Um, the skin feels silky. It has a little slip to it, but um, I wouldn't call it poor filling or blurring. Uh, it just feels like you've put a nice uh, face oil on. So, um, I really like it. The main reason that I placed an order with e.l.f. was for their Putty Bronzer, which had just come out a couple of days before that. So I ordered mine. I think this is the lightest shade, feeling shady. And it is very cool toned, um, which I didn't realize. Again, I love e.l.f., but their website, the colors on there are not accurately represented. It's very difficult to gauge what the colors actually look like. Um, I like this more for a contour rather than an actual bronzer because it is so cool toned. It looks almost gray on my skin tone. Um, but it's the formulation is beautiful. It is a cream to powder. You swirl your brush around, you put it on your face and it almost immediately dries down to a powder finish but it's not hard to move and blend. It still blends great, even though it's dried down to powder. It's not like it's locked in place immediately. That takes just a tad bit longer. I'd say after a minute when you're done um, blending, about a minute after you finish, it does lock down and does not move. It's really pretty. It doesn't emphasize my texture. It doesn't dry out my skin. Of course, I don't look powdery. You know, it's it's lovely. I just need a different shade. So, um, I also bought a eye brush 
but I'm not sure. I think I showed it on my um, Elf Favorites video. It was a fluffy eye blending brush. Yeah, here it is. I really like it. Um, I think it was Jessica Braun. I'm telling you, YouTube videos talk me into buying all kinds of stuff. Uh, I think she said she had four of these. Yeah. They are really, really nice. They're very affordable. I think the brush was $4. I think. Um, if you get the ones with the white handles, this is their pro line. The white handles are just as good and slightly cheaper. Um, just a buying note. <laughs> really, really love this. Now, with all of that, I did get a gift with purchase and free shipping because um, they were having, let's see, what was it? I think it was $15 you get free shipping. And then um, if you spent so much, you got a gift with purchase. And I chose, not realizing that I already had it, I chose the Hydrating Face Primer and didn't realize the last time I placed an e.l.f. order that's also what I chose, the small. These come, um, primers come in larger bottles if you want. These are just the small. They have small and large. So, you know, they're like less than half the price. But you get more than double the product when you buy the large size. Anyway, I already had the hydrating face primer. The only difference is this is in a squeezy tube rather than um, the small pump style bottle. So that was an oopsie on my part. Still haven't opened it uh, because I already know what it's like. I'm just hanging on to it for when I finish up um, the one that I already have open and have used. So, um, let's go on. What, let's see. Amazon. Okay. <sighs> Lots of people talk about Cinema Secrets for a daily brush cleanser and um, using it as a sanitizer. So, I bought the Cinema Secrets small bottle. I've talked about this, I think, last month with my favorites. It's very, very pricey, but um, it was a little eight ounce bottle. Came with the tin that you pour it, the solution in. It's got a rubber gasket so it doesn't leak out. You swirl your brush around in it and then you um, swirl it around on a, you know, a, a rag. And uh, yeah, it just deposits all the color and sanitizes and dries quickly because it's mostly alcohol based. Um, so I have been trying generic Cinema Secrets formulas. Um, I've tried the Felix and then I've found this one that's even, even, uh, even better value for the money. Um, this is also a 16 ounce bottle. The last one I got was Felix and it was a 16 ounce. This is $20. The Felix, I think, was $23, $25. Um, they work the same. But this one, oh, it's blue like the Cinema Secrets. And this one smells like... If any of you all paint, um, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Brush cleaner and not for makeup. I'm talking about for painting um oil paints it's very very paint thinner paint cleanser it all it smells like that i don't care for the smell of this one the felix had a slight chemical smell but it was also sweet and then the cinema secrets that's like 36 38 dollars for a 16 ounce bottle smells like vanilla Almost no chemical scent at all. Just a slight alcohol, like rubbing alcohol scent, but overwhelmingly sweet. This one, though, however, works just as well as the Cinema Secrets. It just smells foul. So, we shall see. You know, it takes just one dip, swirl it around on your rag, and your brush is clean, and it dries very quickly, just like the Cinema Secrets. The Felix, sometimes you had to dip twice to get it completely clean. But it also dried very quickly. And it didn't smell as bad as this one. So I think I will probably go back to the Felix. Um, the last thing that I purchased from... Well, I take that back. I have two more things that I purchased from Amazon. Um, nail forms. 
paper nail forms. Um, I'm sure if you all have watched for any amount of time, you know I'm doing my own poly gel nails. Um, I have the dual forms and I don't really care for them. Um, for some reason, I end up with hollows that um, break. I guess it's bubbles maybe in the, the gel when I'm spreading out on the dual form. And they also lift up near my cuticle. So I end up with a nail that's like this, that's a real pain in the butt to fix. Don't know why. It's probably, you know, a technical issue that, because I haven't been to cosmetology school and learned to be a nail tech. Um, but it doesn't work for me for some reason. So. Uh, I've been using tips and then just putting the poly gel as an overlay. But I really wanted to be able to get away completely from having to use acrylic nail glue. And paper forms allow that. Um, basically, you get one out here for you. You peel this off. It has a little center sticker. Um, that you can use to reinforce this. You kind of wiggle it around to make it flexible. Tears apart there at the bottom. And you slip this underneath your nail and then you tape it to the side and then you press it together into a cone like so. And then you apply your poly gel over the top. You can also use these with acrylic powder stuff. Um, you form it, you cure it, you peel it off, and you're left with poly gels. These I had a little more issue with, but I got better as I went. As you can see, these are a little better underneath. I didn't cure these long enough, so the underneath kind of gooped up, so they're not as smooth and um, concave like your nails should be underneath. But it's a learning process. And these are considerably cheaper on Amazon than going to, you know, my local Sally's and picking them up. It was less than $5 for a hundred of these paper forms. You only need one per nail. Um, so, I can't imagine that there's much to it. They're just a thick, sticky-backed paper. So, um, as long as they're thick enough to support what you're doing, why pay more? I mean, at Sally's, I think they were 11 or $12. So not, not greatly more expensive, but why spend the extra if you don't have to? And less than $5, they were $4 and something. I can't remember exactly with tax. I don't mind being out $5 and them not working, not being stiff enough to support the gel to cure. They are, so win-win for me. Um, the other thing that I bought was this Beauty Glazed Mysterious Palette. And if you think this looks a whole lot like the Huda, I forget what it's called, Mercury Retrograde, um, you're right. However, it is not exactly the same. Um, it's definitely not a dupe. It tries to be. But the shadows are they're pretty, they're very blendable, but they're not very pigmented. So you really, really have to build them up to get color payoff. They go on very, very sheer, but you can build them up. So it's not a total loss and um, a fail or anything. So I'm still happy with it. I just liked the color story in the Huda palette, but I didn't want to spend a small fortune. I think it's $65 for a palette that's a couple of years old. Um, I don't know why it's not cheaper when there's newer palettes from Huda out. I don't know, I guess it's just that popular. Anyway, I just like the color story. So, um, yeah, I found one for $12, $13 on Amazon, so I got it. Um, my last order would be with ColourPop. And this one, I was extremely excited about. Um, I do have one more online order that would be the last thing we talk about, but they released the High Tides palette and 
Um, I love blues and greens. And this is a blue-green palette. I mean, are those shades not stunning? They are so gorgeous. I love this palette. So, so pretty. Um, I love ColourPop's formula. These are super, super pigmented. So, you can make a real mess if you go in a little heavy-handed with it. But, um, the colors are just stunning. They blend out nicely. Uh, the shimmers look almost metallic. Um, it's just, it's gorgeous. Um, yeah. I do find with these, they go on just fine with a brush, but if you use your finger, you it looks truly metallic, like you've painted on a metallic paint. But it stays on so well. And I love that there is no pressed glitter in this palette. It's just gorgeous. Definitely, definitely worth the money. Um, I also picked up this On the Horizon Pressed Powder Blush. This is from their Wild Nothing collection. And it was uh, discounted. I think, yeah, they were having a 30% off sale. Which, you know. I had to buy a, a couple of things. But anyway, it's a really pretty cool toned pink. It's just, you know, bright, colorful. I love the clamshell packaging. It's just, it's cute. Um, also, this was clearanced out and the 30% applied to everything, whether it was on clearance or not. Um, this is from their Frozen 2 line collaboration with Disney. Um, this is Free Spirit. And um, this is a beautiful lip gloss. Online, it didn't look quite as tan as it is, but this is very, very sheer. So um, when you paint it on your lips, you just get a hint of peach. So it, it, it's lovely, I love it. And then I got to thinking, I wonder if they still have those water globe things in stock that I kept seeing for a while when they first released. And guess, guess what? They did. Um, I've got the box still just because I really liked it. And it seemed like a good storage solution if I decide that I don't want to use these water globes. Um, I keep them in my skin fridge. There we go. This is from their fourth ray beauty and the 30% off did apply. But what I really like is um, they came with these little styrofoam. It's got a little rubber coating there to keep you from freezing your fingertips off completely. Um, but anyway, yeah, they're rose cooling facial globes. I got two of them. And, oh my God, they do feel so good. I mean, you just rub them around. Ugh. I love them. Hmm. Definite favorite. And they're beautiful, too. They're just pretty to look at, you know? They had another set that was blue, but honestly, I like the pink better, so. Um, okay, my last... Last purchase of the month so far is um, the Alter Ego Shadow Kiss palette. And everyone is saying this is a dupe to the Natasha Denona Glam palette. Has a really good, nice actual glass mirror, not plastic. And I don't have the Natasha Glam. Natasha Denona Glam Palette, but um, Jen Phelps does a fantastic comparison of this. Um, so does um, Frugalista, Frugi Blog. She uh, compares them, quite a few people have. Um, and Jen Phelps commented, you know, that the colors weren't quite as pigmented as the Natasha Denona, but that suits me just fine because these are plenty pigmented for my pale skin. Um, if you have a medium to deep skin tone, you might not want it because it's going to take quite a bit of work to build it up to be as deep as the Natasha Denona one. 
you might be better off spending the $65 to get the Natasha Denona palette. But um, I thoroughly like it. It's cool toned, it's gorgeous. It's got a good mix of grays and taupes with a little bit of pink there, right there in the center. It's just, it's beautiful. The, um, like I said, it's plenty pigmented enough for my skin tone. Um, they blend beautifully. You can make countless eye looks, different eye looks with it. It's got the 15 shades to choose from. The pan sizes are decent. Um, I also have, this is not a purchase from this month. I've had this palette for a year or more. This is the Sahara palette and it's supposed to be a dupe to another Natasha Denona palette, the Eba palette. And this one is definitely warmer toned, but it still has cool tones in it. And again, every bit as pigmented as I need it to be. So no complaints. They both have the soft matte packaging that I really, really love. It just, it feels buttery. So that is all the makeup purchases that I have done for July. Um, I might order a few things this weekend, but uh, if I do, I'm real they won't be here before the 1st of August, so they'll go in my August purchases. Um, I am out of the pink poly gel base. That's what's on these. I ran out <laughs> before I could finish the last three nails, which is why these are have a blue undertone. So I painted them since they ended up being different colors. It just looked weird. If I had known that I didn't have enough to finish the last three nails, I would have um, done things a little differently, but that's okay. Um, so I know I'm going to buy some more pink poly gel. Um, I'm just not sure when. Yeah. So that's it for this uh, makeup monthly purchases. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you're living vicariously through my spending issues, spending addiction, shopping addiction, what do you call that? I don't know. Um, I hope it made you happy to see what I bought. Um, I'm trying to think of anything. I have um, a new series that I've been doing on my Instagram of the same name. Jen does reviews, uh, where I am going slowly through all of my super colorful palettes and featuring them on the makeup eye looks that I can get out of them on my Instagram. So if you wouldn't mind, maybe hop over there, check it out, give me a like, subscribe and follow if you wouldn't mind. It would mean the absolute world to me. And I hope you are having a great day. Stay happy, stay healthy, and make good choices. Bye.